Uh, Victor Lieberman, leader of the Israel Beitenu Party, announced on Saturday his intention to force a unity government between the two biggest parties, Likud and Blue and White, following the September elections. In an interview with Channel 13, Lieberman said it will be an emergency government, a national liberal government. Notably missing from the unity government will be the Haredim, or ultra-Orthodox. We will do everything to prevent a Haredi government, Lieberman said. In May, Lieberman prevented the formation of a government with his refusal to compromise over a military recruitment law to draft ultra-Orthodox men who received deferments for studying in seminaries. The Israeli government held its weekly Sunday cabinet meeting on the Golan Heights instead of Jerusalem to initiate a new residential community on the Golan named for U.S. President Donald Trump. The new town will be called Trump Heights. The Prime Minister's office said that the move was taken to honor the President's recognition of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and the recognition of Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights. Sarah Netanyahu, the wife of Israel's Prime Minister, will pay 55,000 shekels, or $15,000, in the Prepared Foods Affair, a Jerusalem magistrate's court ruled today, approving a previously arranged plea bargain deal. In the affair, Sarah Netanyahu ordered catered food delivered to the Prime Minister's residence between 2010 and 2013, even though a chef was employed, which was against the rules. Benjamin Netanyahu defended his wife on Facebook in an emotional post, calling her a true heroine for enduring years of slander. The first Druze trainee to complete the prestigious Israel Air Force pilot course has passed the final stages, Israel Media report. He will earn his wings in two weeks. The trainee, referred to by the press only as G, comes from a Druze village in the north of Israel. Everyone here is very proud of him, and I can testify that the discussion in the past few weeks has been around the fact that he is about to finish the course, a pride that cannot be described in words. A friend of G from his village told the Ynet news site, G chose to fly attack helicopters, Ynet reports, finding them more challenging than fighter jets.